focus on just one successful company started by a woman, Kira Donlan. Uh, thank you for coming in to speak to us. Thank you for having me. You're the founder of a company called Thea Healthcare. You make lingerie for women who suffered from breast cancer and, and other surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also a finalist in the Cartier Women's Initiative Awards. Uh, can you give us an idea, first of all, about what inspired you to start this company? So I suppose I saw the suffering of women after they had had breast cancer surgery. I was running my own lingerie shop in Dublin, and they were coming in to me looking for something comfortable, pretty, and supportive which amazingly wasn't available on the market. So when I looked into it, a lot of my, my now competitors were producing bras like this, but they were looking at it more from the breast form's point of view as opposed from the woman. So we kind of turned everything on, on its head and we're focusing, the woman is at the centre of everything and how we design and how we market. And were you always an entrepreneur? Did you always have that instinct? Um, I always wanted my own business, but um, I suppose one of my role models is my grandmother, who is inspiration for the brand as well, Rose Donlan. She had her own business which when it was unusual to have it she also had breast cancer um, but I have worked in the corporate world as a marketing executive for many years before I set up Thea Healthcare. And are you surprised by figures like from that Grant Thornton survey that just a quarter of senior roles are hel held by women? Um, unfortunately not really to be honest um, I, I wish it was 50-50 just like the world is 50-50 it should be but with some of the corporate roles that I held I saw that women went to a certain level and they didn't go above it um, I can't really answer or why it's only maybe that it, you know it's society it's the way we're kind of built and things need to change from when children are born and how they're brought up and how they see the world even the cartoons that are watched and there's an issue here as well about trying to inspire more women to become yeah. entrepreneurs in particular which is a particularly challenging uh, kind of job for anyone how do you think that more women can be inspired to become entrepreneurs well I suppose like with the Cartier Women's Initiative Award I mean that for me to be selected as one of the finalists out of 1900 applicants I mean it shows that women want to set up their own businesses and there is that spirit and the drive but unfortunately the word woman has to be put into something before women will go forward and I think that's got a lot to do with self-confidence and as I said how society raises us and on a day like International Women's Day we, we talk about things like this do you think it's important that we have a day like this to, to talk more about these issues and the, the lack of balance that exists yes I think it's important to have the day I wish we didn't have we didn't need to have the day but I think it is very important to have it we need more role models little girls growing up need to see more women in entrepreneurial roles and doing well and for that figure of 25% senior managers to rise the way to do that is through International Women's Day and through initiatives like the Cartier Women's Initiative Awards. And that'll help promote more people. Yeah. Okay, well, Kira Donnan from Pay Healthcare, thank you very much for coming in to speak to us.